Hello and welcome back to a brand new tutorial on the channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. I am going over crouching just like boom. Yeah, crouching. Very simple in Godot 2D platformer. And if you do want to know how to do it, make sure you do go hit that subscribe button, drop a like. And so whenever you crouch, you go slower. As so if we're moving along. We got this is normal speed if we're crouching though. We got that speed. Can't go into here. Crouch and you can. So uh Yeah, yeah, crouching. Hope you enjoy. So if you are looking to build a crouch system like the one that you just saw in the intro, then here you are ready to learn how to make a crouch system. So vanilla game or vanilla before the crouch system is implemented. We cannot go under this anything i do we cannot go under this uh this little ledge so we're gonna make it to where we can actually go under the ledge so yeah first things first we want to make a new collision shape right now we have our normal collision shape which is our standing up collision shape but we're going to need a collision shape that's going to be for crouch only so player collision shape 2d i'm just pro we'll name this let's see crouching shape why not crouching shape there we go so we got our crouching shape now of course we want to set up our crouching shape so let's go over here to the right hand side you can add a shape i'm going to add a rectangle 2d and a skillet so yeah make sure that's locked I'm also gonna make sure my sprites lock so we don't mess anything up. I'm also gonna change this to a different color so I can actually like somewhat see it. But yeah. Alright. Set this up somehow to where it's gonna be a crouching. Uh let's see, let's see. That looks fine. Now we need to move it down. The Y position, whoops. We'll make it like, what's 20? That's pretty close. Uh, 25. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Maybe we should raise this up. No, no, it's, it's fine. It's an example, so it's fine. It will work. And that's our crouching shape. So let's lock this crouching shape. And there we go. All right now into the code so if you do want to know how to make all this all the videos that are in so if you go to this entire world everything that you see right here including wall jumping and everything here is in a video on this channel so make sure you do go check it out if you have not already done so but first thing is first we need to get to coding so we'll find a spot uh it needs to be in our physics process, so somewhere in that function. I don't think it really. You gotta put it under our movement so we can actually move while we're crouching. We'll put it like right here. Why not? Wait, do we need this? No, we don't need to jump or anything when we're crouching. This is fine. Right here. So, we're gonna start off by saying, like, an if. Input. Let's first start off by going to our project, project settings, input map. I've already made it, but you're probably going to have to make a crouching key. I made it C, and I just named it crouching. So whatever you name your input key, so I named it crouching. You, so I'll make a new one. Go up here to the very top action. We'll make a new one. I'll just name it crouch. So, or I'll name it crouch key. Why not? be fancy so crouch key we enter that it's going to come down here you click this little plus symbol here and click key and then click whatever key you want which we want a nice little c or whatever key you want to be your crouching key but i'm going to go with c that looks fine that looks pretty good all right so now we're going to go to our code again and now we're going to make an if statement so if input dot is action we're going to want to have a pressed because it's a crouch because we're going to want to be pressed more or we're going to want to be crouching as long as we are pressing down the button if that makes sense 
And what do we just name it? Crouch key. Yeah, crouch key. There we go. That's what we just named that. So we can do that. Now, if we go back to our player scene, this crouching shape here has a special command over here that says disabled. When we start the game, we want it to be disabled. So yeah, we want it to be disabled. So check that box. Make sure you check that box. And now we're going to go back to our code. And we're going to start off by, so if we are pressing down, we're going to want to be crouching, which means we are going to want to turn that collision shape on, and we're going to want to turn our normal collision shape off. So we can do that in a very simple way. Put the little money sign, which means it's just referring to a node. So we want to refer to the crouching shape node, and then we want to dot disabled. And then do we want it disabled? No. So we're going to say false, which means it's going to enable it. And we're going to want to do the same thing for the normal shape dot disabled. And then we're going to want to make it true because we do want that one disabled. So now we can mess with the position and everything of our character. But first I'm going to add a little else there and then we'll pass it. For there. So if we're not crouching, right? So if we are not crouching, we are going to want our uh if we're not crouching we're going to want the crouching shape to be disabled right so disabled equals true which means yes the crouching shape is disabled but then we're going to want the or we're going to want the normal shape to be enabled because we want it to be back to the normal shape now watch this if we were to go and play we're not going to see anything visual can't go under if i click c though look at that we can go under you can't really tell any difference though but i mean that's a big difference that's the crouching feature now we're just going to put visuals on but go forward go forward if we click this c you can see a tiny little movement that we can go under just like that now for the visuals now for the visuals or actually you know we can add some speed changes so we want our speed to equal slower than what it already is which is 200 and jump to equal zero because we do not want to be able to jump. Now, you have to, right here, you have to put whatever you had or the speed and jump, you can change it to whatever you want, but uh, I'm just gonna reset mine here to where it's gonna be back to normal whenever we're not crouching. Now, if we were to play, see? Normal speed, as soon as we go to crouching, it's slow and we can't jump. But then, let's see. So, if I was doing this and crouching in midair, it looks pretty good. Just crouching in midair. Jump up, crouch. Oh, wait, hold up. Jump up. Well, that was crouching up the edge, but like, if we go jump and then crouch, it looks pretty cool. But now for the visuals, I'm just gonna do a basic. You probably, you could easily use an animation player to make this a lot easier but we'll keep it simple okay so first off we want our we want to refer to our sprite and then we want to get its position and then we want the x position to equal whatever yours is right now which i actually wrote this down just so i uh don't gotta go back and check but i'll show you what to check in just a second so uh, I'm just gonna put all the information in right here. The, I'll tell you how to get this here in just a minute. I just wrote this down because I didn't want to have to go back and forth to get these numbers. But we got 2.1. Alright. So. 
for your sprite position you just want to go click on your sprite over here you want to grab this position and this position so your x and y so if we look at the code it's the x and y exactly what was there and then you want to get this number and this number and then if you look at those two numbers those are those match up right here so yeah now time what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna grab all this I'm gonna copy that and I'm actually gonna put it let's see no that's fine that's fine we don't have to put that anywhere else all right I'm gonna put that right here because we're gonna need the exact same things but we're gonna change everything up so let's click on our sprite let's unlock our sprite and let's just try and line it up as best as we can with the box actually you know what we can do crouching shape 25 you can just play around with your character to try and get this to look as good as possible or as close as possible I'm actually just gonna copy my crouching shape maybe that'll work maybe it won't yeah okay that did not work as you can tell so uh x we can do like a one's gonna lower it we need like a 0.6 no 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 0.7 no okay i'm gonna play around with this and i'll be right back all right so i played around with the numbers a little bit this is what i got right here it looks pretty close so i'm gonna lock my character again you play around with that make sure you get it to however you want it to be and whatever you think looks good all right now we're gonna go to our little script all right wait let's go back over here so remember the position it's 0 25 which is pretty easy to remember So we'll enter 25 in. And then for the scale, we are going to want to go back to our sprite 0 0.8 and 1.4. So we got 0 0.8 and then 1.4. So these numbers are coming from, if you up here, click on whatever your sprite is, come over here to the transform tab under node 2D. You can get all those numbers that we're talking about right here. If you don't understand, just leave me a comment and uh, I can help you out. But next, let's just go test it out. You see? Now look at that. We got a crouching animation. Okay. Now, before everybody goes and says stuff, bef okay, I just want to put this out before anybody says something about it doesn't look good. Yeah, it I made it in like 10 seconds. I have no art for this game, but don't worry soon. I'm making a game that there's going to be art that y'all can download and y'all can play and y'all can build the game along with me. And it's going to be like a pretty advanced platformer and there's going to actually be art. So stuff's going to actually look good, but see, we can't jump. We move slower. And so here's normal speed. Here's crouching speed can't go under here all right let me let mr enemy man pass all right can't go under here crouch we can go under here now you can't really move if you uncrouch under there but it is what it is i like it basic basic crouching i mean this is probably it, i mean it's the best crouching method you can use for basic crouching i'm gonna tell you that right now it's the best crouching method you can use now this here i mean all this here normally you would put into like a you would normally put all of that into something oh, into something like this i see i don't know why that's not working that's weird you normally put all this into animation player and you do something like this to where it's you're gonna get the animation player 
and then you're gonna do dot play and you're gonna want to put in whatever it is I guess it I guess the animation name would be crouch and that's about it so you'd put that instead of all this but I don't have an animation player with the animation in that's why that's not gonna work for me but if you did make an animation then that's how you do it and I'm probably gonna use an animation player in the platformer series where I teach you how to make a nice clean platformer with art and everything so if you do want to see that make sure you do hit that subscribe button because i would really appreciate it and it would make my day but i hopefully this did help you out and if it did let me know in the comments down below what type of tutorials you need next next up i promise is a combat system i've been asked that like a couple times i'm making a combat system i'm working on a I'm trying to make it so I know a combat system. I just want to try and make it simple to where I can explain it like this. Like this is very simple. But I want to try and make a combat system and make it to where it sounds simple so you understand every single thing that's going on. It's going to use an animation player for like swinging the sword and everything. But unless you want like a long range. But I'm probably going to do it like melee. We'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. And I cannot wait to see you in a brand new video. Make sure you do drop a comment. Tell me, tell it. Hold my. Tell me what you want to see. And I will uh, get to you. And if you didn't understand anything in this video, let me know. And I can explain it in words or text. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. And I cannot wait to see you guys next time in a brand new tutorial. Stay safe, stay awesome, see you soon. Goodbye.